Good morning and welcome to the video for third grade for lesson 6.1 from Into Math. This is Mr. Parks, the math teacher at Risen Christ Lutheran School. So at long last, we're ready to start working with division. And one of the things that I like to point out to my students when we're working with division is that we're going to use all of the same tricks and math facts that we used for multiplication when we work with division. They're like opposite sides of the same coin. And so uh, to give you an idea, we're going to be working with a couple problems where we're making equal groups and we're going to start with our large number, but then we're going to break it up into equal groups and figure out how many groups we can make. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at our first problem. So I've drawn a couple different pictures to help us uh, discuss this. So uh, Taryn works at a comic book store. She wants to put 24 comic books on display. She wants to make equal groups, and we want to figure out how many equal groups and how many uh, comic books will go in each group. So I'm representing on the left-hand side, here's a 10 block, here's a 10 block. So we have 20, so I, I show that with two 10 blocks and then I have four one blocks. And it happens to work out that because I'm working with an even number, I can always divide by an even number and split this up into two equal groups. And so if I do that, um, I would end up with two equal groups with 12 comic books in each group. I don't have to do it with two equal groups. I actually have several different options. And so for the turn and talk at the bottom, it talks about other ways that we could do that. So let me give you an idea. Um, we could actually circle groups of two. So we could make 12 equal groups with two comic books in each group. Um, we could also go ahead and say, let's circle groups of four. And so if I do that, I would be able to circle six equal groups and I could replace those numbers um, standing for the number of group or the number in each group. Um, so we have a lot of different options. So I could do six groups of four. I could do four groups of six. I could do um, two groups of 10 as uh, 12, excuse me, 12 groups of two. Um, we have a lot of different options, and so we'll talk about why that works out the way that it does. Um, another example, um, Kent is making comic strips to uh, give away at a comic fair, and he has a roll of paper that is 18 inches long, and then we're drawing comic strips that are each three inches long. So what I would recommend to students is that the second number is going to be the size in each group. So we're gonna make groups of comic strips that are each three inches long. So I would start with 18 counters and then we're gonna circle groups of three. And so when I do that, we are going to end up with six total groups. And we're finding the number in each group for that. And then our turn and talk at the bottom for this page says, suppose the roll of paper Kent uses is 30 inches long instead of 18, and we want to uh, draw six comic strips. Um, how many inches long would each comic strip be? So what we would do for that is we would take 30 counters and break it up into six equal groups. And then the number of counters for, would represent each inch um, and then we would be able to find that. So I'm gonna pause real quick and show you a picture of what that would look like and then we'll talk about that real quick. All right, so here's our picture that we're working with. Just to give you an idea, what we would do is we would start by finding, we know that we're gonna have six groups and we would put one counter in each group before we would put a second counter in any of the other groups. Um, so that would be one way that we could do it. We could also find the number by making 30 counters and putting them into groups of six, but our number of counters uh, that we would circle would tell us how many inches long each comic strip would be. So again, we have a couple options when we're working with that, um, but this is the one that I would recommend is the six equal groups, and then we're putting one at a time in each group before we put the next one. Um, and so we'll use both of those strategies um, as we work through problems for the lesson and for the homework. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, um, either by text or by email for my Risen Christ students and their families. Hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.